Hello everyone, Joe from BlackberryOS.com here. Today I have just purchased the Pacemaker app for the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Pacemaker app is a DJ app for mixing music. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, here's the icon here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The, the Pacemaker app comes with a interactive tutorial. Um, the beta version does not. So this is the full version. It costs $20 in App World. So here it's opened up. When you first get the app it'll automatically bring you to the tutorial but uh, in order to activate the tutorial you can go through it more than once. We need to swipe down from the top menu and then there's a little button there that says tutorial and there's also some other options here which I'll go through after the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and here we are welcome to the pacemaker app the following is a tutorial to learn the basics of mixing you can relaunch this tutorial through the settings menu alright we have a little next button there so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that okay so what it wants me to do now is to select a track first it kinda just goes tells you it goes through everything this is actually very useful if you've if you're kinda learning to wanna be you know mix your own songs and possibly you know, use this application at a party of your own or, you know, if you're a professional DJ, however you want to do it. So let's go ahead and load track. And then what it's going to do is it's going to automatically, it has a couple of songs that it automatically comes with the application um, for the tutorial usage. And you can see it has the B BPM, uh, beats per minute, has the key, the length. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to make sure the volume's all the way up here so we can hear it pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit that. All right, so loading and tap play to start. All right, here we go. Now it tells me scratch by moving the deck back and forth. Press next to move on. So I'm gonna scratch it a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Hit next. So we got our next up here. Alright, let's tweak the sound a bit. Tap and hold EQ to find gain, bass, mid, and treble equalizers. So if you hit that, and you just tap and I'm just holding down there on the EQ. It says hold your finger on EQ and slide down to adjust bass. So I slide down to the bass setting here, and then I can move it. Give it a lot more bass. And then I can bring it back. Back to where it was. Right. And here we go. Now it says tap the P button to enter extended mode. Exit extended mode by tapping again. This is our P button, our pacemaker button. That's kind of a futuristic P, I suppose. So hit that. Set a loop by tapping the loop in. So here's a loop in button. You hit that. And then we have tap loop out to set the loop out point. So right there. So there I have my loop in that's gonna keep it's gonna that's where you can specifically select a piece of the song where you start it by hitting this one and then stop it by hitting that and then that selects that little chunk in between there. Uh, and then here we go, tap exit loop to end it. Alright. And it says notice how the EQ changed to effects. And now we have an effects button there instead of EQ. Tap and hold to get access to the effects. So we're going to tap that and hold it. All right. Now it tells me slide down to adjust echo and move your finger clockwise until echo reaches 50 per 50%. Release your finger when you're done. So I'm going to hit echo and then we go all the way up to 50%. Kind of gives it a really cool effect. To it. Here we say pink color effects have a second effect parameter to control the timing of effect. Reach it by tapping twice and don't release your finger from the screen. Tap next to try this gesture. Okay, so we're gonna try another effect here. Okay. Let's see. So we're gonna do another finger. We're gonna add the filter now. It kind of gives it like a lower, or I can actually go up higher here. That's pretty cool.
just by moving that, it actually gives it a really cool effect. And this is the filter, which filters out, I'm assuming, bass and all the different frequencies. Cool. Here we go. Tap this button to turn all effects off at once. You can turn them on by tapping it again. So we kind of have an on and off button for our effects here. So there we go. There goes that. That's the basics for manipulating a track. Let's add another track into the mix. Select another track. All right, let's go ahead and select another one here. And it already has another predefined track that comes with the pacemaker app. And let's go ahead and select that. All right, loading. All right, now go ahead and play it. And then here we have, so when you start two tracks, that they might not necessarily be synced together. So what we want to do is there's a sync button in the middle there that'll sync them both together. So they're both sounding good on, on cue with each other. And it tells me to move my crossfader to the right. The crossfader here can adjust which track is getting the volume the most. So I go this way. That's getting most volume. So I go back this way. Oh. Congratulations, you have made your first mix. Go ahead and start mixing without our guidance. Which, uh, turn this down a little bit, which I'm not going to do because I'm not a DJ. I don't pretend to be one, but we have a couple guys on the team that actually will probably be using this app pretty heavily. I might have at it a little bit here and there, but, um, hopefully we can get some mixes from them, from them and, uh, just to show you guys kind of maybe some more what's up with the pacemaker app and what. And if you guys have some creations of your own of the Pacemaker app, put them on the site. Um, you know, put them on a YouTube video or something, post it in our forums, blackberryos.com forums. Um, that'd be awesome. And also, uh, something else to, to mention is on the pacemaker.net site, the actual Pacemaker site, they have a uh, tutorial videos as well. There's like, I think there's four of them up right now. Um, but go ahead and look down in the details below this video. And I'll post the link there to it. I think it's pacemaker.net slash tutorials, something like that. And I'm assuming they're going to be adding some more tutorials to them as well. So, so yeah, it's going to be pretty neat. But uh, let me go ahead and I can just show you some of the options here. One thing I wanted to point out is we have split output here. And some of you DJs will know what that is. You know, you'll be able to control the volume from your headphones or from the volume coming from your mix, the output there. So that's actually really handy when you're trying to focus in on uh, your mix. Um, there's that tutorial button again. Then there's a halt button there that kind of just stops everything. And if you hit that again and just go ahead, it's kind of like a pause button for everything, which would come in handy if you want to just instantly stop a mix real quick. You can flip this down just and it just like that. I mean, it's up to you. It's however, music is uh, left up to your mind. However you want to create it, go for it. But all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little pacemaker app tutorial. Uh, this is the stock tutorial that comes with the app, and I hope to see you on BlackBerryOS.com. See you guys.